Hi, and welcome to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, trademark. So I did e e I did a philosopher, the Philosopher's Stone some time ago, and it was one of my favourite playthroughs ever done. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts... Wait a minute. Where's Stephen Fry? Oh no, I picked up the US version, didn't I? Not the power one. Oh, you... How can you replace Stephen Fry? He's the fucking voice of Harry Potter. Well, the guy who reads them. And not Jim Dell. Jim Dell came into the room, then he came into his own face. It's driving me mad. <laughs> but why would you, like, record the voiceover twice? That just costs more money. But yeah, this was quite a late PS1 game. It was 2002. In fact, I think it was one of the only PS1 games I ever got when it came out. All the other ones were, like, second-hand. Think it's brilliant. Why did I skip it? Alright. Yeah, this game is just... Oh, this is why I love the PS1 games so much more than the other versions. they got so much more charm. I don't know why. I mean, I wasn't biased because I grew up with these games, but... Yeah, they just this is a tutorial. This is reminding you how to do the basic controls, and it's fine. And God, look at the climbing ability of that boy. Hmm. Up here we go. Oh, I wanted to play with the chickens, and how he literally just pops into frame. You ugly son of a bitch. Oh, I thought that was Rick Mayo on the side there. But yeah, we got to pick up the pieces. I don't know, they must have just programmed this and thrown it in here. I don't know. Maybe it's a reference to the book. I've, on I've only ever read the first book. And all I remember of that first book is that Fred and George were down by the lake, tickling the tentacles of a giant squid. What a weird thing to start the game with, but whatever. As I said, this game's got a lot of charm, and that really goes far. There you go. God, I'm a fucking super player. But yeah. Oh, it's Rick Mayo. Again, I said that before. <laughs> it was such a good joke, I say it again. Non-magical junk, such as televisions and video games. There we go, and we're done. Oh, just drop the... They said don't drop them on the floor. You just did it, Ron. Dickhead. Bye, Rick. Oh, my God, of course Rick Mel was actually going to play one of the characters in the Harry Potter films. He was going to do, um, Peeves, the ghost. They even did some test footage, but I don't think it ever got officially released. What a shame. Fucking getting Rick Mel and not actually using him. But yeah, I found something out the first time I played... Uh, not the first time, the last time I played this game, but there's actually a secret where if you get enough beans when you're in the castle, you can get, like, a charged up spell. I don't know how many beans you need to do it, though. So I'm just going to find out before I go too crazy. So I'm probably going to collect all the beans, but of course I edit half the shit out anyway. And that opened the gate somehow. Nice, casting. Oh, he's so cute. Look at it. He's such a fat little bastard. you got to feed him all food. Feed me food. But yeah, one of the problems with the first game is that there's like things that you can miss and never get again. This game, for the most part, fixes that. Apart from that spell, I guess. Because if you go too far, you can't get it. Hmm. Beans. Well done. well done. Here's a card. Felix Summerby. Felix Summerby. Oh, he's feeding himself. He's self-sufficient. We will collect all the beans. In fact, you can get enough beans in the burrows to buy all the cards. Which is... I always thought was very silly, but now I know that you can buy this spell. It's not as bad. It only took me ten bloody years. Well, probably even longer than that. Is it getting bigger with each one? Jesus Christ. Somebody's probably jerked off to this. Alright, let's get going. Oh, that was fun. I think it's the only one in the game as well. Here he is. Wingardium Leviosa time. But yeah, this is just a tutorial, repeating stuff from the first game, and it does, it does, it's a nice way of getting it back in the, in the grind. And drop. And there we go. Ooh, denoming gloves. Yeah, there's two denoming minigames in this, and actually some of the hardest things in the entire game to do. It's very hard to aim, so I'm not looking forward to them. Oh no, is it really this soon? They stole a telephone box, you naughty, you naughty northern scum. Right, I'm going to miss anyways, who cares? I know I was going to miss. It's really hard to aim. There we go. And I missed, didn't I? Don't chomp me, you tried to chomp me! Am I going to hit it? Come on. Do we, we... Amazingly, there are still phone boxes around. Right. I want to hit the beehive. So hopefully this guy will keep behaving. Ha ha. Actually, that is a stolen joke. Oh, fucking idiot. 
Oh, I've missed that. Excellent, Harry. That was really good fun. It wasn't fun. Do you want to play again? You're not screw it. Let's just get this out of the way. There's a worse one later on as well. I've missed that, haven't I? There's no reset button either. Oh, there is a restart section. That's genius. My god. And I missed again, didn't I? <laughs> but why are we throwing the gnomes? It seems a bit cruel to me. Don't they have rights? Oh, did I finally hit it? No. No. I hit the fucking tree. It's that fussy, are you? That has to be perfect. There we go. The wasp hive. Thank god. 250 points. Let's see if I can hit that bloody car. I think you can't go too weak either. I missed it, didn't I? I missed the bloody car. I guess you guys got a little bit more extreme. I swear if I don't hit that, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, come on. I literally touched that. I swear to god. Come on. There we go. He's living in the car. He stole the car. I'm sorry, but are the Weasleys fucking white trash? Because they got a car, they got a phone box, and they got a scabby little pond. Oh, I'm not going to hit the pond now, am I? That's too much. Come on, down, 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 boy, down. No. Oh. I reached 700 points. Is that, more, is that enough? Excellent, Harry. That was I guess i got to go like 750 or something stupid like that. First of all, let's hit that car. There we go. Don't you hit the tree, don't you hit the tree, don't you hit the fucking tree. Good shot. You hit the, pond. the pond. Fogger ain't happy. Get out of my pond, because I'm not, <laughs> not happy. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> Why do they have to dance? <gasps> no, come on. Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that. Please tell me it's enough. Don't tell me it's something like 800 points. Oh, it is. Oh. Okay, you can't expect me to get much more than that. Excellent, Harry. That's yeah, it's annoying it doesn't tell you how many points you need. I guess it's supposed to be a secret. I'm not playing again, Ron. I'll wring your fucking neck. Hello there. A wizard jewel. Don't a wizard jewel. You just safe. safe. So this is wizard jewels. This is the new thing for this game. And they got, they got two telephone boxes. Dirty thieves. Yeah, we get it. I know you're trying to be cinematic. Get ready, jewel. Those are Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, this is not exactly the most thrilling thing. It's a bit mindless, but it works. But we're literally just fighting. Like, shouldn't this kill us? There we go. Round one to me. Idiot, do you want to move? Look at that TV, that's an old ass TV. I want that TV. If for some reason, if you look at his bar up there, Freddy Boys, it like skips a lot of the end. So like the weird as this shit's boring, let's just skip half of it. Like that, it literally just skips. Just have a go down in bigger chunks next time. Harry, you're so ugly. Right, so we need to get him to shoot the TV. And we get a special spell. Uh, a spell shawl. And what do we get? We get the circle, which is just like a bigger version of the normal one. Boring. Super speedy one. There we go. Ain't lodging that. There we go, you can have that. And... There we go, we win. You know, I gotta say, the audio in this game is very clear, considering everything. You can hear like a little bit of the compression, or a limited bit rate. This sounds fine for the most part. Oh, I got a red one. There you go, you can have that. Oh, and I missed. Now I'm pissed. There you go, you can have that. And I win. Expelliarmus. My smelly anus. And I win. Oh, and his sword's broken. <laughs> Sword. Yeah, this is the first kind of proper exploring area. I need as many beans as physically possible. Burp. Right, you've got naughty lawnmowers. There we go. Lock on. It doesn't tell you about locking on yet. But I figured out anyway because I'm a fucking genius. Evil bees. 
Evil 2DBs. And you can go, oh no, evil washing machine now. Oh, there we go, that's about targeting. There we go. Oh yeah, the frame right here really tanks. I noticed this shit as a kid. It's probably too much crap. Too many beans. I'm really doing this without any effort. There we go. Put it here. It doesn't fight back now. Oh, gee, that frame rate, yeah. The first game didn't have any huge frame rate issues like this, but a couple sections in this one are really bad. Like, they're supposedly poor and stuff, but they have this huge, like, estate. Just sell the shit you don't need and get out of poverty. Dumbasses. Dumbass poor people. Right. Look for something to charm onto the pressure pad. Well, I'm charming, I go on there myself. No, oh, it didn't work. I'm Guardian Leviosa! Sounded very enthusiastic about that, didn't you, Harry? Yes, sir. Again, I, one thing I love about these games, they are, like, unapologetically video games. They don't try and justify any of the random bullshit. Like, there's no reason why a fucking boulder opens a gate. But it does, and I love it. And it only gets more nutty from here. I like the variety of the beans. I wonder if it's random, or it's, like, predetermined. I don't care. I just need them all. I need them all in my tummy. Right. Evil bees, aka every bee. Oh, another boss battle. Imagine being like a little kid and getting stuck here and getting scared of the washing machine. Mammy! The washing machine's evil. Right, come here, you fucker. This game's definitely less creepy than the first one. Like, the dungeons in the first game are generally kind of creepy. Here it's like wimpy time comic zone. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I don't make sense ever. God, yeah, the frame rate of this one is particularly bad at points. Just trying to do too much. Wait a minute, I'm assuming you can't jump in here. Oh, I wanted to make Harry Potter drown. Right, what's up next? Nick, my voice. Oh, silly mate. And silly you for trying to fight silly me. I remember this being a bit of a pain in the ass to so, like, grab the one up here to go in a very specific spot. There we go. And I think it spawns beans up there as well. Plop. Maybe not. I'm thinking of another area, maybe. Who cares? Oh, wait a minute. He, his pain sound is amazingly funny. He's got like a couple, but one of them's particularly good. Come on. Oh. Ah! I love it. They're trying to attack you with your own clothes. Ew, it makes like a squashy noise and I don't like it. I suppose that every other noise, which is so lovely. Yeah, well, we get a beans. And the music stopped. It's just so you can appreciate that ambient noise that they licensed. Shut up, stupid machine. Hmm. Beans. I guess these are like peppermint. This is like blueberry. Maybe like lemon. Apple, strawberry, boring, banana split and licorice and stuff. And this, that's just pure testicle. I literally just made like a Gmod video about Scout's testicles. Um, I'm recording this in October 2021 for reference. And that's not going up to November. But this video is not going up until the new year at some point. we got to destroy a fucking tree now. Conveniently it was already cut, we just need to knock it down. And unfortunately you can't c commit suicide here. I really wanted to commit suicide. I'm sick of this story. Okay, where did you steal this from, Weasleys? They even put a picture of the plant on the bloody button. Puzzle solved. Can I even reach that? I guess so. Either that or I'm fucked. Little wimpy boy. Some more beans. Hengist of Woodcroft. Yeah, the music stopped. It must have glitched out. Oh, well, that's emulation for you. Oh, hi, Harry. Thank goodness you came. I think... Oh, she... He did what? Nice work, Harry. Hope Dad's junk... Diagon Alley. I prefer Vertic Alley. That's the joke. <laughs> now, this is some video game bullshit, and I love it. Alley. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, I do legit need to get as many beans as possible. Give me them beans. It's like, okay, we got to get them from here to there. How do we do it? Slip slidey times. 
People like the slides in Super Mario 64. They're going to love this. Ah, ah. Oh my god, his ass. His ass must be like fucking sawdust at this point. Is this where the fire comes in? I don't think you even get hit by them. Oh, whatever. But I love this crap. I love this. This is nonsense. I don't think you can even get with it. Oh, you can get it. That's the first time I ever got hit by it. And apparently this takes us to another fireplace. Ah. And we get a storybook, not by Stephen Fry. Oh, it glitched out. Look at Ron in the background. Hmm, I'm in the frame too. Pay up, bitches. Over London. They flew over London because they didn't want to get fucking stabbed. Oh no, it's the train! I you found the train, Ron. Now what annoys me about this again, I'm not one to mock games for the logic or anything like that. Anything I like the lack of logic in them, but here, you're stuck in the tunnel with the train, okay, you're fucked. But you get out of the tunnel, and we don't just fly away. Dumbasses, dumbass kids. By the way, you can press the horn button as well. There is a hidden card in this section, I think it's in the next part actually. But yeah, that, that music is brilliant. Like, goddamn. And again, this is the only time you can hear it. Actually, no, you can hear it in the, um, when you go back to this level. The fact that you can go back to certain parts is genius design. Right. There should be a fork in the road at some point, hopefully. I wanted a knife. Or a spork. Spork. What the stupidest invention of all time. That and YouTube. Oh, don't scratch the car. Oh, we're fucked. Now that should have fucking killed them. Next section. And we do reach the end of the tunnel, but we still don't fly away, because these two boys are too stupid to live. Alright. And away we go. See, we're outside, why can't I go? Problem solved. But no. I want to pick up the speed boost, because it's fun, even though we might fucking die. Ow. Oh, I missed the, the turn. Idiot. Right, now where is that fucking card? Is it around here? Where is it? I'm getting pissed. Give me the card. Oh. No, 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 there we go. It must be down here. No. Oh, here it is. Oh, shit. Where's that card? Didn't. I love how they went to the effort to record it for just that one line. This one moment. Okay, let we escape now? No. There we go. We're near the end now, surely. Oh, we found an escape. There wasn't any before. Goddamn kids. Goddamn kids and their flying machines. I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel. You made it out of there several times, you dumb bastards, and here's the title screen. Where did you learn to fly? Mind the tree. Mind the gap. Dumbass kids, honestly. I look like Beavers and Butthead at this point. Right, he opens his gob and we just shoot it, I think. I might remember, this is not a particularly hard battle. Do in that, Ron. Shut your gob. I'll shoot you in the mouth. Oh, I made a mistake. Thank God there's chocolate flog flogs on the floor. He sounds rather calm for a guy whose bones are turning into paste. Open that mouth. Open up. Open for the aeroplane. Open up. And we're done. This is when they run away in the freeze frame. Oh my god, Ron, your face is so fucked up. Yeah, there's a weird glitch. They probably put me in Hufflepuff out of spite. You're fucking nobody. You'd be a Hufflepuff. Peter Gryffindor. Holy crap, Lewis. I'm in Harry Potter. Hang on. Where's Snape? Where's Snape? The really, really crappy sequel to Where's Wally? There is, you ugly bastard. Is this the one where it zooms in on his face? Please don't zoom in on his face, I'm going to be sick. Don't zoom in on his face, please don't. It sounds nothing like Snape. You. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the layout in this game for the castle is different. Like, that's actually one of the problems with these two games, that the layout doesn't really follow the movies very well, which 
I, I admire them for not just blatantly copying, but it'd be nice if it was a little bit more reminiscent of it. Oh, beans. So yeah, we need to get all the beans we can. Is this where we get introduced to the camera boy? Is his name like Colin something? Colin the Caterpillar? There we go. I think I have enough beans to buy literally all the cars that Fred and George sell. Or very close to. Here he is. Wow, Harry I'm Colin Creevy. Colin Creevy, the creepy. He's going to be a fucking paparazzi. Really what kind of cameras he got? Is he got one of those like, shitty disposable cameras? And that's like a... That's like muggle shit cameras, not magical books. So I'm pretty sure this... Not this door. This door here... Has the, um... The magical spell. Magical Trevor has come back again. We're going to go into the Great Hall because it's probably got beans in there. Yeah, uh, this is like one of the few areas in the first game where the uh, the frame rate took a big shit, did a big poo. Can I go in the fire? Oh, I wanted to I wanted to turn Harry Potter into toast. All right, we're done in here. Now let's have a beer. Oh yeah, there's a lot more like hidden bookcases in this game. I think. Oh, warning! If you've got epilepsy, this motherfucker flashes the screen. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're taking a little detour. I hate these books. I hate these fucking books. Come on, come on, die already, man! I must destroy this copy of Atlas Shrugged. Nobody deserves to suffer that fate. Fucking hell! Come on! <laughs> oh, come on! Howie, you are the worst fucking wizard. Oh, I gotta got kill the second one. Literally first shot, my god. I'm a fucking genius. This game is so fucking charming. Like, goddamn. Oh, there's more owls. I love owls. I fucking love owls. That's why I called myself Owl Towel. I mean, I, I, just, I just like birds in general. Highly underrated, underrated animals. Fuck dogs and fuck cats. Not literally, they don't deserve it. And I just, they just bore the shit out of me. Even as a kid, they bored the shit out of me. They're not interesting. And here we go, our reward. Bertie Bot. Bertie Bot! I love your beans. Oh, and it spawns more beans for you. Either that was a glitch. I don't care. Yeah, it does spawn more beans. That's interesting. And it's lovely, and I love it. I love things that are lovely. Jump up. More beans! Where's the fucking toast? Yeah, There's also a secret area here, but I don't think you can actually get the card in it yet, so I'm not going to bother. Oh, there's another secret area here. Let's, I think this one you can do. No, I don't think I can do this one either. Screw it. What a well use of my time. Password? Uh, pig snout? Caput now that was actually the password in the old game. Now what is the password? Of yeah, I get it. Oh no, not more books. It gave me evil looks. I want to grab one of those books and lay a turd on it and just squash it. Oh, a hidden bookcase. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden bookcases in this one. Thank God for editing. I can just cut out all the boring shit. Oh, that, if I, to be honest, if I did that too much, there'd be no video. Because I am boring and I am shit. Right, let's see what's in this room here. Oh, that music is so magical. Magically delicious fucking books. I hate them. I know they say knowledge is power, but we all know that's bullshit. Money is power. Well, this is like a secret area, so all these are like secret naughty books we're not supposed to read. Like, spells to enhance your wizard come. Yeah, I know the, there's a hidden one down there. I thought that was a swastika for a minute. I thought Harry Potter was pretty much dirty Nazi. I think this is where they hide a card in here. Oh, I can't get it. One shot. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Well, not for long when I fucking throw you off a cliff. Harry Potter, the boy whose skeleton lays at the bottom of a cliff. But not all the skeleton, I ate half of it. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Alright, what 
Okay, what is the word? What is it? Is it lemon drop or something silly like that? Harry, I can't believe it's what is it? Wattle bird. Wattle bird. Is that like a type of roast dinner? Winner winner chicken dinner? <laughs> I remember when, um, wasn't like the PUBG people tried to like sue someone for like copyright. We popularised the phrase winner winner chicken dinner. I was like, no, you didn't. We made it! We made it. But yeah, annoyingly, you have to do like really well on the spells to get these, and it's quite tricky to get the time in. Everyone knows that finding famous witches and witches. Five, so I need 250 of them. Shut up. Brilliant! Ignatia Wildsmith, Greta Catchlove, Chauncey Aldridge, Herpo the Fowl. Herpo? Like, uh, oh, fucking phone. God damn it. Um, I'm actually in the middle of a recording right now. Oh, okay then. Just um, say hello to him. Okay, um, do you want to say hello to the few people that are going to watch the video? Do I want to watch, say what, sorry? No, it was you. Um, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of a recording. Do you want to say oh. hello to the few people that are going to watch this video? Oh, hello, hello to the few people who are going to watch this video. Oh, it's not that, not two people, we're few. It's not that bad. No. Hello to a few people who are going to be watching this video. Well, thank you. No, That's it, so, you're done. Okay. You're done. Okay, 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 bye for now, take care. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. I don't know what you meant, do you? <coughs> right, that's a nice f special guest. M mummy, mummy and daddy. Her special guest. <laughs> oh. Come on, her body. I don't think they even knew what was going on, so they might see the video later and go, you little shit. You little turd monster. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Alright. I love how they got the little other kids going as well. And he pushed me. You pushed me. Right, another secret area. I'm just going to find out how many beans you need to get the special spell. There we go, 500 beans. That's our goal. We've got to get that before it's too late. Basically, before we go to the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, wait, let's kill some micees. I don't like the daunting music. It's not music to my ears. It's music for my fears. Right. Oh, evil mice. There we go. Battle. Battle one, there we go. No award, just escape. I guess not getting eaten alive by giant mice is a reward in itself. Right. And up we go. This is the the room of the knights, it's a bit of a nightmare. Oh, the puns. I didn't know this was Bob's Burgers. Oh, there's two. And he does a chest bump. And he's... No, one more. Come on, boy. And he's dead. This one's easier. He ain't got a shield. Oh, someone's pooed on him. Me. Can't stop talking about bowel movements. Is this going to be the like a naughty boy coming after me now? I've reactivated him. No, there's the naughty boy. But why have we got dangerous knights in a castle full of kiddies? Waiting for me. Oh, come here. I know you want me. It's got no head. Oh, he did a big chop. Too late. I did a, did a s stop. That's what most people who watch these videos say, just stop. I've always said gas pod. 